Professor Spectrum, experts in spectral technology. Hi, welcome back to Professor Spectrum. Today we'll be looking at the basic theory of XRF technology. XRF analysis is initiated when X-rays produced by an excitation source is directed at the sample. The X-rays ionize the electrons in the target elements, and these atoms will then emit energy through secondary X-rays by a process called fluorescence. There will also be some backscatter. The process is simultaneously captured at the detector and results are calculated by the instrument. So what happens to atoms ionized by X-rays? Let's take a look. A stable atom is made up of a nucleus of protons and neutrons with electrons arranged in different energy levels or shells orbiting the nucleus. Different shells can hold different numbers of electrons. A stable atom will have all these inner electron shells full. When analysis occurs, the X-rays hit an electron in the atom's orbit. The electron is then ejected from existing shells of the atom, causing it to ionize and become unstable. An electron from an outer shell moves to fill this vacancy to stabilise the atom again. As the electron moves into the field shell, it will release photons of a specific frequency related to the ionisation energy of the electron. This is called fluorescence, which is detected by the PXRF instrument. The energy of the released photon is specific to each element, which the detector will then measure. This is how the XRF can determine what elements are present within the sample. The onboard instrument calibrations convert this spectrum into semi-quantitative results for the user. So that's the basics behind the XRF. We hope this video was useful to you and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content like this. See you next time.